Oh my God, guys. <laughs> I, we are slammed tonight. Bistro Huddy is slammed. So I just, I just got away from my tables. I've still got a full section. And uh, <laughs> we have an hour and a half wait. And it's madness out there. Nicole is losing her mind. And Aaron is like nowhere to be found. And Terry, I don't even know where Terry is. Joey's like so deep in tickets, he's screaming his head off. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. <laughs> Hello, guys. Welcome to Bistro Huddy Live. I'm your host, Drew Talbert. I am so excited about this. I can't even tell you. I have, I've been looking forward to this all week. Been preparing for this. We've got some really really exciting, like fun stuff planned tonight. And it's just going to get better and better and grow and grow as we kind of get to know each other more. So I'm looking at the comments now. There's people from all over the world watching different time zones. And I can't thank you guys enough for, for taking the time. I know some of you, it's really late. Some of you, it's really early. So yeah, I love pickles. Uh, Karen's boy toy. <laughs> Where's Brad? Brad? Who knows? I'm guessing the walk-in with a flask. Uh, but uh, the apathetic is back. I remember you from last week. I remember several of you from Luma 9. Welcome back. If I missed you, I'm sorry. But uh, my wife Andrea is here. By the way, let me talk about what we've got going on uh, tonight. Um, while I'm away from my tables, um, we will be uh, meeting a couple of the, the other staff members. I know Nicole... And Pickles are going to make an appearance, and they're going to answer some of your questions. So that's exciting. Those those two seem to be the staff, uh, the favorites. They get uh, a lot of a lot of requests. So Nicole and Pickles will definitely be making an appearance. Uh, thank you, Music Man, ten ninety five. I appreciate that. Um, <laughs> let's get baked. Says he's been there in the flask, in the walk in with a flask. Um, and then the third uh, staff member is up to you. So I want to hear from you guys. We're going to do Nicole. We're going to do Pickles. And then you tell me, who else do you want to see back there? You know, so um, we'll get one more out here. Then we're going to have a, a something I'm very excited about. I've been wanting you guys to meet Andrea for so long. My wife, my partner, my writing partner, my ride or die, my everything. So... Um, she's going to be coming on a little bit later and you guys get to ask her some questions, uh, and all her, her beauty. So uh, I'm excited about that. And then finally, I am going to, with your help, cause I am a trained improviser, but with your suggestions, I'm going to create a brand new character on the spot using your suggestions. So we're getting some votes now. And uh, also, I want to thank, uh, while I'm here, uh, Zach and Eli. Zach and Eli are, mod are moderating tonight, along with uh, Andrea. And Zach Corbeil, I mean, this guy, I can't thank him enough. He's really been helping put this all together. Um, look for um, exclamation point AH. Go ahead and type that into the chat. Exclamation point AH. After Hours is his company, so use him for all your... Uh, branding needs and he he's he's a kind of one-stop shop if you're um, someone who's a content creator or a business of any kind that needs help uh in the digital on digital platforms and beyond so uh thank you to zach and uh, you'll be seeing him in the chat and eli uh who's been helping me design a website so i'm excited for that that's going to be coming up some uh, soon as well so that's what we have planned um, who, who's, what are the votes looking like here? We got Clint, I see Phyllis, Bridget, Clint, T you guys are all over the place. Maybe I should take the suggestion of the person who's farthest away. Where are you guys from? Let's see. We got uh, the owner. Oh, the owner. Who is the owner of Bistro Huddy? That remains a mystery. Uh, we got a vote for Bridget. We got another vote for Bridget. Give us the owner as an improv. That would be so fun. Uh, that's from Warp Speed Luna. Karen's Boy Toy. I, that username is just killing me. Um, wine Distributor. <laughs> AJ Machine. You need a to-go person. Oh, that's true. What people want more than anything is an expo. That's in the comments I'm seeing. So 
And we have a new uh, female chef to unveil at some point, Ruby. Uh, and so maybe she's the expo. Clint, I see Bridget. Clint, Bridget. It's it's looking like Bridget or Clint. Nico. Okay, we got some people coming in from Minnesota, Florida, Ottawa. So far. California Bay, I love it. Uh, from the moon, Warp Speed Luna is from the moon and it's in their username. So uh, Luna, right? That's, yeah. So that's uh, that's going to be tough to beat. Although we do have... Um, we do have a uh, like a rover on Mars right now, so uh, good. This is amazing, you guys. Uh, Napa, Sonoma, a lot of wine. Sommelier. Wait a minute. Do we have like a real like? Do we have a wine smart crowd tonight? Like I never know, cause like I've worked in every kind of restaurant. Uh, Bistro Huddy is just the last stop. Uh, so far, but I've worked in, uh, in Malibu at like a glorified diner. If you guys want me to ever tell you some celebrity stories from my time working in Malibu, I'm happy to tell you those. Um, and I've worked in super fine dining, um, and I've worked in casual, I've worked in corporate and I've worked in chef owned. I've done it all. So, uh, I'm just curious, like what's the makeup here? Are you guys like corporate or are you guys like, uh, I'm getting the vibe that a lot of you are more like foodie style. You know your wine, right? You know your pairings. Yes to celeb stories. Cab, fine dining here. Yeah. What do you prefer? You don't always make more in fine dining. You don't. Sometimes uh, you do. Sometimes you don't. It really depends on the uh, tip out structure, how busy it is, and that kind of thing, right? Sonoma. Man, I love this. All this. All these people from uh, wine country. Um, so should we get into it? Um, I think we should get into uh, meeting some of these some of these staff members. Um, <laughs> who who should we meet first? You guys want to meet? Uh, I could see if she's around, if Nicole's around. Or do you want to talk to Pickles first? You're going to get both of them. So do you want Nick, uh, Nicole or Pickles? Um, girl and Fig Fam here. What is Fig Fam? I always feel like I, I'm going to miss references. I was raised without a television in my house. And uh, I'm always worried I'm going to miss a f Pickles. But he is probably in the weeds. No, he, the thing you need to understand about Pickles is he's never in the weeds. Because he doesn't care about that pickles pickles nicole 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 i'm feeling nicole okay all right let me go see if she's available guys all right but i want you to know i've worked very hard to create some entertainment for you guys if you were here last week you've seen one of these before if you were not here last week you're about to see a video you've never seen before featuring the three cooks and I've also got a fun trivia thing planned for you guys later. So whenever uh, I'm out there finding the other staff members, just know that I'm taking care of you. You're going to be entertained. Um, and we're also going to play a couple of uh, videos from those brunch ladies later on too. So we've got a lot of fun stuff planned. Let me go see if I can find um, uh, Nicole though. Okay, guys. Um, I'll, see ya. I'll see you in a little bit. The sound works now. Okay, great. I'm seeing that the sound works. So sorry about that. You know what? I'm. I'm quite frankly, I'm not surprised. <laughs> what is all this? This chatting. Hello, hello. So Drew just came running out there like his hair was on fire, and I'm I'm in the weeds, and he's like, "Go in there and chat to these people. Go talk to these people on the internet." So here I am. Um, so someone's been depressed lately, K Forrest, and this is making me so happy. Thank you. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that is so nice. You know, what's funny is like, I've always kind of had that effect on people. Like I've always been like, um, able to bring people up. You know what I mean? I'm just gifted with a lot. It's like some people just look at me and they're like, she's so pretty. Like she's so beautiful. Like, um, she probably is stuck up. 
or or kind of an asshole. And I think what people are surprised to learn is that I'm just like the sun, you know, like whenever I'm around, people just warm up and feel better. So that's just like one of my many, many gifts. So um, you're never in the weeds. Okay, that's true. I said I was in the weeds, but like, it's like um, I worked with a guy named Quentin for a while. And he said once, he goes, you know, you can never be in the weeds if you don't give a fuck. And I was like, okay, that is facts. (laughs) So, Quentin, if you're out there, uh, hats off to you. You changed my life. Nicole's a baddie. Nicole, what's your favorite part of working at Bistro Huddy? At Bistro Huddy, there's a turnover of bartenders. And, like, every few months, they get a new bartender. And for some reason, Terry always hires the most gorgeous bartenders. And so there's always like a new hot piece of ass behind the bar, like constantly. And that's probably my favorite thing. So, you know, oh my gosh, I'm so not used to equipment. There's like equipment everywhere. This is crazy. I'm like, I'm literally sitting here talking to people all over the place. Where are you people from? Are any of you guys like, really hot or what or rich (laughs) I've had like a lot of boyfriends but usually I go for like guys who are kind of rich so I'm not trying to throw shade at you if you don't have money it's just like it's just something about a rich guy I just feel taken care of do you know what I mean so oh you're local Mm, that's fun have you made a Clint have, have I made Clint a victim yet are you suggesting that I that my um, boyfriends are victims? Because that is shade. Would I ever be manager? I'm sorry. Could someone else answer that question for me? Someone just asked. Hold on. Let me find out who this was. Because why aren't you a manager yet? Who said that? Would I ever be a... Oh, my God. Warp Speed Luna? There's, there are like a million jobs I would take before I would be a restaurant manager. Thank you. Here's the thing about being a restaurant manager. And if you're a restaurant manager out there, first of all, I'm sorry. Second of all, basically you work three times as much for sometimes less pay. And you have to deal with all the shit. So like people are like constantly, um, uh, calling you and saying, Hey, the kegs, like the kegs are broken. And I'm like, I'm not coming in on my day off for that. Hell no. Yes. It takes your soul. That's the truth. I don't know about you guys. I was having such a great hair day today and I was like feeling good. I'm like bouncing around. I went to, um, on a little walk and I saw my friend Gigi who has the cutest dog. And so I got to like pet the dog for a minute and, and it's the only dog I like. There's like, well, there's two dogs I like Gigi's dog. And then I had an uncle who had a dog and he was really sweet. I like those dogs and I'm like having a great day. And then I come to work and there's something about being at work. Literally within like five minutes, my hair goes to hell. Look at this. I can't. Can anybody relate? Nicole, Nicole, what's your drink of choice? My drink of choice? I like a black Manhattan. Yeah. With some like tobacco bitters. Anybody else like that? Or like sometimes I just want to have a glass of wine. And I like stuff with, like, a lot of body, but not like a fruit bomb, like a Zinfandel or something like that. I want some, like, tannic structure. Do you know what I mean? Matter of fact, the last guy who said tannic structure to me, I went to bed with him, like, that night. Yeah. (laughs) It's, like, such a kink for me. Oh, my gosh. I'm just reading. Are there shift drinks at Bistro Huddy? Yeah. Here's the deal. If Clint's working, you get a shift drink. If Deborah's working, you get three shift drinks. 
<laughs> Deborah hooks it up. She is amazing. But do not F with her. I'm serious, guys. Like, Deborah is so cool. And she will hook you up. And she'll give you, like, that, you know, like, that, like, uh, that, like, dive bar pour. Do you know what I'm talking about? Where it's, like, she just, I don't even think she's counting. Her hand just turns the bottle up and she just like lets it sit there forever. And like she's talking to you. She's like, so how, how's your day going? Pretty good. Great. Great. And then she's done. And like that's your drink. And Clint's like over there with his little, he's like measuring. You know what I mean? He's like a mixologist or whatever. Yeah. So Deborah is is awesome. But like Deborah was at Bistro Huddy before it was Bistro Huddy. I forget what it was. It was like some Italian place or something. And Deborah had worked there for like a decade. And then Bistro Huddy took over the space. And like she came with it. Like Deborah came with the space. So she's been at Bistro Huddy since before Bistro Huddy was there. And it's, and it's wild. So I just realized I was wearing Drew's wedding ring. Because like... Because he came out there and he was like, he was like, Nicole, go on, go on there and chat. And I was like, no. And unless I can play with your ring, which is like this weird thing I do with Drew. So he's like, okay. So I had his, his ring on. Isn't that crazy? So, but Deborah, I was going to say Deborah has like this feeling of ownership about the place. So like if you do anything wrong, she is on your ass. Like, she sees everything. She's kind of like the mom of the restaurant. Does anyone else have a restaurant mom? I'm taken. I'm never taken, baby. <laughs> I'm never taken. I mean, sometimes I am, but, like, not for not for long. At my job, they made... So, Lumon9 says, at my one job, they made the servers punch in tasters. And when a bartender overpoured... Okay. Buca de Beppo? That was not what Bistro Huddy was before. Oh my gosh. That is hilarious though. Buca de Beppo is like, it's fine, but it's like, I like to go to those like legit Italian places where it's just like one owner and like one chef and he's always screaming at his wife who works there too. And like, that's how you know it's legit. You know, you're at like a legit Italian place if everybody on the staff is like in the same family. That's important. They'll have, like, their nine-year-old bussing tables. You know what I mean? And they'll have, like, a six-year-old girl passing out menus. And it's just adorable. And it's also, like, sketchy. Like, is this even legal? But I bet the linguine is to die for. <laughs> right? Oh, my gosh. I got to see what you guys are saying. I'm over here just gabbing. This is so great, too. Because I, I, on my way in here, I told Aaron. I was like, Aaron, watch my section. And he was like, I can't. I'm like, And I'm like, is it back? Bye. Bye. I'm going to be, I'm going to go be a star. So like Aaron's out there like rocking my tables. I don't care anyway. Like all my tables sucked. Do you ever have one of those nights where like everybody sucks? Like I don't have a single cool table. Like they're all just like trying to get shit for free and like saying all this dumb shit. Like I have this allergy and that. And like, I just don't believe allergies. I don't. So what are you guys saying? There's a place next door to me me called flavor of Rome. And it's, it's exactly like that. Oh, cool. Like the family place. That's great. That came from K force, by the way, drew wanted me to say thank you to all the new followers. Cause a lot of you guys are new followers. I mean, we're, you know, apparently this is a new thing. Bistro Huddy's doing this like internet show thing. So this is exciting, you know, and he wanted me to just say thank you. So, um, thank you to all of you including Puma Darko, who said, that was me working at my mom's bar. Oh, my God, Puma Darko, were you just like a kid working at the bar? Could you imagine, like, you go to the bar, and you're like, y'all have a Jack and uh, and it's like a 12-year-old serving you? I'd be like, what is this? What country am I in? <laughs> like, th there are laws. I worked at a place where the owner chefs worked together so many nights with them pissed off at each other, says Nine Hazels. Oh my gosh. Just every night, just screaming at each other. I love it. Actually, that's my, that's my like comfort zone. I like it when, um, people are yelling in a restaurant. 
I don't know what it is. I get really sketched out if I work at a place and everybody's just real civil with each other. I'm like, what's happening? Like, are we hiding shit? Like, I need a. I like to express how I feel, and I don't respect people who don't. Nicole, Aaron just fainted in the dining room. I think he needs your help. Okay. All right, guys, I got to go. So this has been real. I loved this. I'm going to tell Drew I need to do this again because at first I was kind of skeptical, but now I'm like, I kind of like it. <laughs> I don't know if it's the attention or what. So, um, guys, we got to figure out this sound. I'm going to, like, apparently I'm supposed to transition to another thing, and I'm hoping the video works. If not, I don't know. But at least you'll get to see something, so that's fun. Um, bye, guys. It's been super fun. Go watch Drew's videos. <laughs> All right. What do I do? What's happening? Okay. Bye. Ladies, so good to see you again. <laughs> okay, we do have some brunch specials. Have a crab cake Benedict. And... and, and and we have bottomless mimosas. That's the okay, one. great. Ooh, All right, I'll be right back. Bottomless, bottomless, Ooh. bottomless, bottomless mimosas. I'm in the mood for a switcher. I hit the function, hit the rose till I hiccup. I hit the stage and leave with money that's a sticker. She picks a perfect, so I told him I'm a flicker. Bill, I'm in the mood for a changer. I leave the city and return with my changer. They got amnesia, don't remember how they play. Ah, oh, ladies, good to see you Hi. again. Hi. It is Taco mm -hmm. Tuesday, so we have three dollar tacos and and, and two for one margaritas. Woo! Bueno, that's it. Gracias. That is the Bring it on, baby. baby. Gracias. Right, let's do it. Two for one, two for one, two, two for one margaritas. Two for one, two for one, two for one margaritas. Me llamo Tosano, la gente me dice cómo es. I'm supposed to ask, was there sound? Did you guys hear stuff on that video? Yeah, okay. Hey, I missed you too. Oh, you guys are melting my heart. Mm, I just wanna, I wanna hug you guys. How do we do an internet hug? Is it like this? Mm, 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 mm. Ah, that was good. I felt that. <laughs> I love you too, guys. Oh man. This is so fun. Look at this microphone. I just want to eat it. <laughs> I want to yum, 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 yum. Oh, man. I'm going to yum, yum. Oh, I'm going to drink this water. Mm, I'm not sure whose water that was, but I'm. is Pickles a virgin? Drew didn't say anything about that kind of question. Pickles, what do you eat for dinner at home? Candy. <laughs> <laughs> How many Skittles have you had today? That's funny. Look, there's so many questions. All right. If you eat pickles, is it cannibalism, says Vine Tree? Oh, my gosh. I never thought about that. Did you guys know that cucumbers become pickles? And so I wonder if when I was a baby in a womb, I was a cucumber. Does that make sense? Hey, I, 
Is Pickles gay? Hmm. I, I, I like girls. Um, and I'm not a virgin. I don't care. I'll say it. I have done the deed. I have done it. Ooh, ooh. At least once. Yeah. Uh, yeah, great. We need a skit where Nicole gets drunk and sleeps with Pickle. Oh my God, you guys are crazy, Nick. Nickel. Oh my gosh. Nine Hazels. Trippy. Did you ride a skateboard to work? No, I'm scared of skateboards. I don't have very good balance. You guys, can I just tell you something right now? Joey is losing his mind. <laughs> it's like he was already buried in tickets and we had all these all this food to make. And I was like, I'm going to go be on a show. Woo -woo. And I was just like, peace out. And he was like, no, that's, that's my impression of Joey. And I was like, sorry, I gotta go. <laughs> so he's really mad. Oh man. So what are you guys up to? This is amazing. What do you guys want to hear about my day? Do you want to hear about, uh, my eighth grade? I'm, I'm sorry. My eight year old birthday party. What do you want to hear about? Uh, what's your favorite station to work in the kitchen? I like to put on, on if it's Spotify, I put on the Lion King soundtrack radio. And then it's just all amazing like Disney songs. Yeah, it's so good. That thing you do with your hips. Ranking of your favorite candy. Ooh. I I don't know. I think everybody knows what's number one. <laughs> but I won't say it. I'll just we all know what's number one. And then after that I would say nerds. But I don't ever get them anymore. Do they still make nerds? Oh well. What's your favorite animal? Oh goats. My favorite animal is goats. And I got to play with some baby goats once. And there was one named William, and he was raised with a bottle and in a home. And so he was used to being in a lap. So every time you sat down, William would just crawl into your lap. And he was almost as big as me. <laughs> oh, no. I do, co I do cook goats, too. That's the weird part. Is like Joey sometimes will have goat. So, like, and goat cheese. Yeah. First job before restaurants. My first job was gathering cans for my uh, my uncle. He would say, I was like six years old, and he'd say, go gather some cans. And so I'd go walk around the neighborhoods, and I would gather cans out of trash cans and stuff, and I would uh, put them in a bag, and then we would take them to the grocery store, and we would dump him in this big thing, and then my uncle would get some money, and then he would go drink a lot of beer. And I, um, that was it. That's what I. That was my job, I guess. Um, what's going on with you guys? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm seeing a couple of different chats. <laughs> There's no way pickles isn't always stoned. Oh no, I don't do drugs. I don't do drugs. Warp speed, Luna. You'd be surprised. <laughs> Are you from Quebec? That's popular here. Gathering cans? No. What's your favorite thing to cook? Okay. I like experimenting with stuff, like mixing savory and sweet things. So like I'll take chocolate chip cookies and I'll do like chocolate chip cookie sandwiches but instead of ice cream, I'll do like a melted Snicker bar or, or like cotton candy. I'll do like cotton candy in between two cookies and, and then I'll just eat that. So Joey doesn't like my ideas though. <laughs> he doesn't love them. He's always telling me that's not a good idea. I'm like, oh no, Ooh. Dorito sandwich sounds amazing. So yeah, kosh jelly. Is that how you say it? Kosh jelly? 
Dorito sandwich sounds amazing. And, and ooh, Puma Darko says, I'm, I'm petting cats and eating gummies. Ooh, that sounds amazing. We got to hang out sometime. This is crazy right now. Joey and Nico must be losing their minds because, like, I'm in here just, like, hanging out with you guys. <laughs> And, and they're in there just dying, like literally dying. Like there's two guys because uh, Ruby isn't working tonight and she hardly ever works. It's crazy. They hired Ruby and like she never works. It's so wild. Where did I tell Joey I was? I told him straight up. I said, I'm going to go be on a TV show. Does Bridget know you have a crush on her yet? Who? Guys, Josie, Josie. Josie 522, that was a secret. Last week, I was very clear when I told you guys that I have a crush on Bridget. It was a secret. And you just said it. Why would you do that? Oh my gosh, what if Bridget finds out? Ugh. Bridget likes pickles too? Oh my gosh, don't worry, Pickles. What happens on Twitch stays on Twitch. Are you sure? Oh my gosh. I don't know. I'm so scared because, like, Bridget's so beautiful and she's so sweet. And I'm like, what if she what if she laughs at me? Is Ruby that new person who's already coming in on her days off and ordering takeout with her staff discount during the rush? Is there anyone like that at work? <laughs> That's hilarious. Yeah, you guys are hyping me up. If you see Bridget, if you talk to Bridget, you should hype her up. You should be like, Pickles is so handsome, and Pickles is so cool, and, and stuff like that. And Pickles can pick up some cans, and like maybe, maybe Bridget will, I don't know. I don't know. I'm scared. I'm so scared, guys. Um, what's your favorite, I want to ask you guys, what's your favorite Disney song? Like from a Disney movie? Like Circle of Life? <laughs> hint, hint. <laughs> oh man, guys, you're amazing. Send Bridget in, we got gotcha. you. Oh, are you serious? If I send Bridget in, you guys will hype me up? Oh my gosh, this is great. You guys are so cool. So you guys are coming in from different parts of the world, I was told. Like some of you guys are coming from Canada, different parts of the US. It's amazing. <laughs> and I'm just, I don't know what it is. I'm just like this cook at a restaurant and suddenly you guys wanna talk to me and I just like, it blows me away. I don't even understand. <laughs> But I feel so much love from you guys. So I'm just like, I, I love it. Oh, look, I wasn't scrolled down. San Francisco. A whole, okay, we got some answers coming in. We got a whole new world. Little Mermaid. It's a whole new world. A new fantastic point of view. No one to tell us no or where to go. And, and, whole new world with you is that from little mermaid i feel like that's from uh i feel like that's from a <laughs> from uh, aladdin <laughs> is that the only vote a whole new world mulan oh yeah hello from new zealand new zealand mel brown 26 is from new zealand oh my gosh Seriously, the apathetic says you got a fan base, Pickles. That's what I feel right now. Oh my gosh. What's your your favorite Disney song? Oh man. Mine is uh from The Lion King. Uh actually, I don't know. Mine changes all the time because like every time a Disney song comes on, I'm like, oh, that's my new favorite. Well now that's my new favorite. <laughs> I just like to go, ah, that's my favorite thing to do when we're cooking and it gets busy and Joey's like, I need this, I need this, I need that. <laughs> I just go, ah, and then everything's cool. 
How old am I? I'm 34. 34 years old. What's your go-to shift drink? Ooh, I like Dr. Pepper. Yeah. And sometimes we were out of Dr. Pepper. Deborah will make a special Dr. Pepper. Yeah, she'll just like make it up. I don't even know what she does, but it's always like, it tastes a little like Dr. Pepper and a little different, but it's always so good. Be our guest. That's a good one. Be our guest. Be our guest. Put our service to the test. How do you relax after a tough shift? Ah, well, I like to go for walks. And uh, and then I like to run into strangers and just have conversations. So, like, I'll just be walking along and maybe somebody will be sitting at a bus stop or whatever. And I'll just be like, hey, what's up? And then we'll just, like, chill and talk for a little while sometimes. And that's how I unwind. You guys are awesome. Pickles, what is your favorite pizza topping? Pepperoni. I just like pepperoni, but I'll put anything on there. I'm cool. Ooh, friend like me from J.K. Sims. You got a friend in me. You got a friend in me. Yeah, that's from Toy Story, right? Yeah. I don't have any pets. I used to have a lizard, but it was just one I caught outside and he didn't want to stay with me so he left and I mean I didn't put him in a terrarium or anything I just like let him hang out on the bed with me and he left so his name was Peter so Peter and I got along real good for like 10 minutes and he was gone yeah you have a singing mood what does that mean I like to sing I do like to sing all right guys I got to get back. Joey's going to lose his mind. So I got to go. But this has been so cool getting to see you guys. Um, I'll go see if Bridget will come in here. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> guys, this has been great. I love you all so much. One more hug. <laughs> all right. Guys. I am going to get back to work, uh, but I'll see you around, okay? All right. All right. Bye.
are you? Oh my gosh. This is so fun. Yay! Guys, I am, uh, look at me. Oh my gosh, I can see myself. Yay, hi. <laughs> this is so great. Hi guys. Oh, you're so sweet. You guys are, oh my gosh, you guys are amazing. Amazing. I feel so much warmth and energy right now. Ugh. It's like, I feel like I'm basking in just like good vibes. Just good vibes, good vibes. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Who's covering my section? I was, I just kind of, I was down to one table. And so I just like gave it to Nicole. And she was like, I don't even know if she heard me. I was like, Nicole, can you take table 32? <laughs> and she was like, I don't know. And I, I just left. Uh, someone has a crush on Nicole? Nicole, oh, you're talking to me, Bridget. You mean Bridget, right? Hi, Bridget. How many cats do I have? I don't have any cats. I I do have a dog. Are you a cat person, though? Who asked that? Let me see. How many cats do you have? Courtney. Courtney Tuka asked me, are you a cat person, Courtney? Oh, my gosh. You guys, I love all animals, though. To be completely honest, I love all animals. And if you, if, if there was a cat that needed a home, I would totally take that cat in. But if I'm being completely honest, I love dogs. I do. And I have a, a little, uh, well, it's not that little. It's a, it's a boxer, I think. It's like a mix. It was a rescue. And his name is Benny. And he is adorable and nothing but sweetness. So... Thank you for asking. Oh my God, I love you, Nicole. Well, Nicole's gone. This is Bridget, but I can understand the confusion and I am honored. I would, I'd be honored to be called Nicole. I really would because she is so beautiful, but I am Bridget. Yeah. But if you're telling me that Pickles has a crush on me, I am kind of like, I don't know what to do about that because Pickles is great. Look, I'm not saying anything. Look, I don't want to like get you guys. I, I don't know. I, I love pickles. I love pickles. He's like a, a brother to me. I mean, he, there's certain things, there's certain things pickles does that is kind of cute. And I'm always like, Hmm. Hmm. But if I'm being honest, it's like, I don't know. I feel like he's my little brother or something. I always feel like I have to take care of him. It's like I have Benny at home and then at work, I feel like I have to take care of pickles. <laughs> like I feel these maternal instincts. So it'd be weird to like, yeah, friend zone, Komodo, Huntress. I'm sorry. It's just he's too mature. No, no, I'm not saying that. I'm sorry. I don't mean to friend zone him. It's just, uh, do I want to be a manager at work? Here's the thing. I'm I'm there. I'm I'm considered the the lead server. Um, I am a key holder. Um, I'm not technically a manager, but it's a small restaurant. So Terry's kind of the only like manager manager, but I'm almost like his assistant manager. You know what I mean? Like I'm there. I can like um take care of little like managerial stuff. Like sometimes I'll go talk to a table or whatever, that kind of thing. Yeah. How about Clint? Oh, Clint is spicy guys. <laughs> he is so spicy. He is so cute. Clint is so cute and sexy. Oh my God. Like he, he, I, he drives me crazy. I don't know what it is about Clint. It's like, it just like, it just like, like drips off of him like this energy i'm just like i lose my mind i don't even speak like normally when i'm with clint i'm like i'm like with you guys i can talk like this all day all night i love to talk and then i'll get in front of clint and i'm just like blah 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 but i just can't do it does anybody else relate pour some sugar on me yes Clint loves that song. He plays it all the time. Cause like, I don't know how it is at your place. The bartenders control the music at Bistro Huddy. So like the, whatever bartenders working, you know what kind of music you're going to get. So with Clint, it's kind of eclectic, but he does love Def Leppard. He loves the, like those eighties hair bands and he likes 
then he'll throw in like random new stuff that no one's ever heard yet. And you're like, where did he find this? And he's like, oh, I was backpacking in Machu Picchu and like my uh, cab driver was playing it. And I just like shazammed it. And we're like, what? <laughs> Who is this guy? Oh my God, I love you, but for like men's, I would pretend I had to check a table and walk away every chance I got. <laughs> I'm too good for clan. Oh, herpes. Oh my gosh, people are saying some crazy stuff about clan. You guys, Clint's okay. Why are you talking? Why are you talking all this ish about Clint? You're wild. Hi, Bridget. I just came on, but did I miss what dream you're supporting while being a server? Are you an actor? I am not an actor, but thank you very much for saying that because I think somehow that means I'm pretty and talented. And I I don't know. I'm not an actor, though. I don't really have, like, big dreams. I kind of want a family one day. And I just want, like, like... It's crazy, but I want, like, a lot of kids. Is that okay to say anymore? Like, I would take seven babies. I would. I would take all the babies. <laughs> I know. It's just so hard to find a guy who's down for that. <laughs> it's so, I don't know. But um, I also wouldn't mind owning my own company one day. I would like to do something fun, you know, like make my own arts and crafts and sell them on Etsy and like just let it explode. And like, that would be so fun. I will, I will be a great mom. Thank you. That's such a sweet thing to say, Elizabeth Breeze. Uh, adoption. Just like grab babies for myself. I love that. Puma Darko. You have it all, Bridget. Yeah. People still cry in the walk-in? Yes, I have cried in the walk-in. I have screamed in the walk-in. I have eaten in the walk-in. I have done a lot in the walk-in. You can't just, you just can't just steal babies. I'm not saying I'm going to steal babies. <laughs> oh my gosh. Bridget is literally me, says Michaela. Oh my gosh. Michaela, are we soul sisters? Are we soul sisters? Michaela, bring it in, girl. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I love it. So that means, Michaela, that you must be amazing. Are you and Nicole good friends outside of work? Nicole and I, we don't hang out a lot outside of work, if I'm being completely honest. But, like, whenever it's been, like, the staff Christmas party or whatever, we always, like, buddy up. We're always, like, texting each other, like, what are you wearing? All that stuff. So she's, like, I don't know if she's my work my work bestie, but she kind of is. Like, we're, we're, like, two sides to the same coin. For some reason, like, in some ways we're, like, total opposites. But, like, at the same time, she just gets me and I get her. You know what I mean? And, like, we're, like, fire and ice. We're, like, like, she's stronger than me and, like, in the way that she'll talk to people – but I come in with like, and I like, it was like good cop, bad cop. Maybe that's it. I'm like good cop. Nicole's bad cop. I think that's a really good way to look at it. <laughs> good cop, bad cop. <laughs> no, she's great. I mean, Nicole is fiery and she will tell you what she thinks, but she's great. She will always get your back. She is honest and she is a real one. Do you know what I mean? She's a real one. So if you had to be stranded on a desert island with two of your coworkers, who would you bring and why? Oh my gosh. Okay. This is a good one. Who would I bring and why? Nicole. Just because of everything I just said. She's like complimentary to me. And then I think I would bring Clint. Is that wild? But look, here's the thing. Clint has like lived a life. Like he always has these amazing stories of like backpacking and doing all this crazy stuff. And I feel like he would know how to survive. I feel like he would be one of those guys who would be able to build a fire from like nothing, like a couple of sticks and some mud and spit. And he would like build a fire and he would like know how to build a tent. And like, he'd probably kill some wild boar so we could eat it and all that kind of stuff. I am serious. So Clint, so Clint, but then you'd have like Clint and Nicole and I'd be like in the middle of that and like that could be a problem. So now I'm rethinking Nicole. So I'm like, should it be Clint and Pickles? 
because Pickles is just so like fun and he's sur- he's a survivor. He had a rough childhood. Nope, he's a puss. Oh my gosh. Pickles does want kids. That's a good point. But would Pickles be a good dad? Would Pickles be a good dad? I don't know. I think part of me says like he has the heart of a father, but I don't know if he's responsible enough. Oh my gosh. That's true. Two dudes. That's true. But then maybe those dudes would just like help me. We could repopulate the earth. <laughs> oh my gosh. Like I'm so, I am so bad. Like Bridget, stop. Oh my gosh. Okay, guys. All right. I need to get back on the floor. Okay. This has been so fun. So freaking fun. I've had so much fun with you guys. Oh, Deborah is a good one. Deborah's a good one. I want to thank you all for showing up and talking to me. This has been absolutely amazing. I love it. And I love all of you. And I hope you guys come by Bistro Huddy sometime. I would love to serve you. I would totally love to serve you. And I, please, so if you can make it come by, just tell them Bridget sent you. And that's it. So have a great night, guys. So I know Drew's coming back on and he's going to introduce his wife, Andrea. And that's going to be amazing. So you guys get to meet her for a little bit. And then they're going to create, then they're going to get like a new hire or something. I don't know how this is going to work, but it's been so great talking to you guys. Okay. So, um, hang in there one second. I think we're going to try this. Uh, they said we're going to try a video that didn't have sound before. So we're going to try that again. And if it doesn't have sound again, I apologize in advance. I don't know what's going on, uh, with it. So. We'll, we'll give it a shot. We'll give it a shot. All right. Bye, guys. I love you. Bye. All right, guys. So Drew, he's like changing into some other character or something. He's sitting us out here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess to entertain you. Yeah, we just vibe with you. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what I'm doing. Maybe more of that. I don't know. <laughs> We're like the warm up guys. Poor me. I don't know any I'm jokes. Up. You know, you know yeah. any jokes, Nico? I don't know jokes, man. Uh, knock knock. Who's there? Me. That's a joke. <laughs> Pickles, what are you doing? All right. The crazy thing is, I can see Drew right now, just off camera here, changing. And trust me, you don't want to see this. You yeah. don't want to see this. He's a dad. He's got like a dad bod. It's disgusting. Oh, that's mean. He's disgusting. What do you mean? No, Joey, that's so mean. Pickles is not mean. Drew is me. I am Drew. You're Drew. He's Drew. We're all what? Drew. I can make me? fun of Drew because I am Drew. So that's Joey. I am. Not nice. Right? Not like nice. Right? right? No. Like I can say, Pickles, you're not that bright. No. You're not that bright. That's not me. No. How is that me? Pickles, don't do that. He's so sensitive. Pickles so is so sensitive. You're Drew. Yeah. Like you're Drew. You're like the most chill version of Super Drew chill. ever. Right? Like Drew is not this chill, but he is. Right? I wish I was I don't that know. chill. I'm a little high strung. Hope you guys are having a good time. Are we all having a good time? You got a cocktail? What do you need? What do you need? You want some fries? Nico, make him some fries. Oh yeah, Sorry. fries. Coming up, boss. I'm sorry. <laughs> you're sitting there hungry. We're back here doing nothing. Nico, make him Maybe just go to McDonald's. Pickles. <laughs> You should get some candy. What does Pickles do here anyway, right? Pickles is the I don't mascot, even know. Right? I don't know, but we love him, right? Drew, are you ready? All right. I think oh, Drew's yeah, ready, okay? Here he comes. All right. Let's get ready. Uh, Here's yeah. Drew with the next yeah. character. Yeah. 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 <laughs> here we are, guys. We're back. Um... I am super excited for this because um, if you've been watching my videos at all, then um, you probably know from the credits that Andrea is my wife and that she... (laughs) I don't think they know that from the credits. Oh, okay. Well, you know that she helps me write these. Yeah. So um, I have been dying for you guys to meet her. And so I begged her to come on tonight. And uh, here she is. Hi. So this is Andrea, guys. She is my wife. She's my partner. She's the love of my life, my everything. 
and she helps me write the sketches. Whenever I finish and I edit them, she comes and watches and she's like this incredible, uh, has a great eye for editing and she'll tell me to take stuff out. She's made me reshoot stuff at midnight when I'm tired just to make it better. So let's give it up for Andrea. Yeah. Let me get you in a little bit closer. Okay, I can't. I don't have good eyes, so I can't see the chat. So if there are questions, I can't. Okay, so yeah, I, I, uh, this can be kind of casual. Yeah, she is beautiful. She's stunning. Oh, She's you. all of that. Try the brown stuff. It's delicious. The gray stuff. Don't try <laughs> don't, the brown don't, stuff. Don't, Do don't, not. I think they're referencing, you know, the making of the Be Our Guest episode where try the gray stuff. It's delicious. And they and yeah. you, you're you the one that slung the gray stuff oh, on yeah, my face. Oh, yeah, I did. So they said try the brown stuff. That's very different. Yeah, don't yeah. try the brown stuff. Let me stuff. get you a little bit closer okay. in so we're a little I'm, bit. I'm like sitting on my feet so I could be tall Yeah, enough. so we're a little centered there. Great. He's too um, tall. So I, if I don't sit on my feet, then I'm like down yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. Um, so let's get to some – do you guys have any questions? Here we go. Did Andrea work in a restaurant as well? I did. Drew and I met at a restaurant. We worked at a place that – I mean, Bistro Huddy's not really, like, written after this, but it's kind of slightly inspired by that. All of the – brick background not this one but the brick background in it is from the actual restaurant that we met at yes and i worked there for like 14 years or something <laughs> andrea totally owns the bistro i do low-key best owner everyone loves yeah maybe she mine. is the mystery owner huh <laughs> so karen's boy toy says i always wanted to marry a hostess that's it guys i did it he did it and Hostess she, slash server. Yeah, I found the most beautiful person in that place and married her. So that's how this. And so, yeah, Hudson is our baby. So the the restaurant is named after yeah. after him. Bistro Huddy. Huddy is named after our son Hudson, which you saw in the um, in the trivia section. I hope you enjoyed that. Who won trivia? Did anybody get all six right? I'm just curious. Anyway, let me look at some other questions here. Because uh, I saw one up here. Andrea, who is your favorite character and who is your favorite to write for? This is from Tessa. I love Tessa. Arch 33. Okay. Tessa. I know who. I already know or the Tess answer. Tessa Arch 33. I know the answer to okay. this. Nicole. Okay. I love Nicole okay. so much. So she is my favorite character that you do. And she is the most fun to write. Because I think that as a server, we all have Nicole in us. Even if you're not a server, even if you've never worked in a restaurant, you've worked in another occupation, like you all kind of have those feelings about your boss or your coworkers, yes. and Nicole's just the one that says it. Yes. So she is the most fun, I think, to That has for. to be why we like her, yeah. right? Because she says what we're all thinking. Yeah. We're either Nicole or we wish we had a little more Nicole in us. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Are you Italian, says <laughs> Kate Forrest. No, I just have dark features, dark hair. It looks so, really, my hair is not normally this dark. I don't know what's yeah, going yeah, on here. Yeah. It's black. So, yeah, not Italian that, that I know of. I wish I was Italian. I like Italian food and I love Italy. Tell us about your, oh, we'll talk about Italy for a second. That's where we went on our honeymoon. We did. We went on our honeymoon to Italy and it was amazing. We, for our wedding, had asked everyone to just give us money for this dream honeymoon instead of buying us gifts. Yeah. We didn't need and, a toaster as much as we wanted to go on a dream yeah. vacation, so. So we went to Paris. Highly recommend this, by the and way. And we went to Italy, and it was amazing. Yeah. It was, I mean, we just want to go back constantly. We do. We but, eat a lot of pizza and a lot of gelato. Yeah. Neither of us drink anymore. So, like, uh, we everywhere we went, we would get pizza and, like, a Coca-Cola. <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> just, it was great. We never got tired we of it. We loved it. <laughs> but we right. walked so much, we didn't, like, gain weight from everything we ate. No, we just created the habits that made me. Yeah, me and then we just came later. back to America and just <laughs> continued that and got better. Karen's boy toy, you are so bad. Nicole wishes she had a little Clint in her. She does. You guys, uh, you guys have nailed the restaurant genre characters from Puma Darko. Thank you Thank very you. much. That's great. Okay, oh, is Sicilian. Mm. Um, Nicole's fearless. What was it like to gain so many followers throughout your months? Says. Uh, uh, I think that's more for Lama you. Renee, Lama Renee. Uh, well, you know what? It's true. Like this started about a year ago, and and on TikTok and Instagram, it gained a lot of followers that I did not have, and it's been wild. Drew went from eight hundred to on Instagram, to yeah, like 
800 is yeah over 60,000 so but that's thanks to you guys for uh, doing that but I, I it's been wild for me because I'm an actor and writer in LA and I've been struggling for decades you know to catch on anywhere so I've tried and tried <laughs> with other things so it's very thrilling for me I've, I'm not gonna hide that it's been amazing to have this kind of Response. I think it's just so cool because we've tried to do stuff with each other, create videos with each other for a long time, and this is the first time. <laughs> this is actually from the restaurant we used to work at. We were like, let us borrow props. So we have sugar caddies. We've gotten everything from them, and we use it for our video. Um, what was I even saying? Oh. I, what I, was I don't saying know. About. You're talking about uh, growth. and. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That. Oh, yeah. We had been creating a lot of stuff with each other, and... We finally found something that people actually liked. Yeah. Like the other stuff we did, our friends are kind of like, mm -hmm. it's not that great. And then this, um, I feel really proud of it because it's not only like been really fun for people to enjoy it, but it's kind of created this community. And I love yes. seeing the comments and people kind of commenting on other people's comments about similar situations that they've gone through. And I think that's really cool. That's That's been the best part is I get messages daily from people saying that um, – Oh, I've reconnected with my old restaurant buddies because of these videos because we send them to each other and like we hadn't talked and now we're talking again, stuff like that. Or like people will write from another country and say, your videos show me that like it's the same everywhere. I didn't realize how we were all going through the same kinds of things. So those are the best parts of this. But even for like sure. piggybacking on that, like there will be comments I'll see. Good night, server chick that are in another language and then people will have dialogue back and forth in whatever the language yeah. is and so it's like these videos to people that aren't from here or even yeah. speak english like it still is like resonates with them i think that's really cool that is amazing to me that surprised yeah. me yeah. that surprised me a lot um if money and time were no issues what else would you two like to create says uh brotelmo brotelmo <clears throat> I mean, if money wasn't an issue, I would love to create this into, like, an actual show. Oh, okay. I mean, we still kind of are wanting to do that. Hey, you never know, man. Might People, be, possibly. We've had words. some conversations. Who knows what could But happen. I would love for that to. Um, am I in the creator fund on TikTok? Yes. Yes, I am. I am. I get paid per view. It's it's not very much, but um, it's, it's a little something every month just to kind of, like, yeah. help out. Um, every server I know, this is from J.K. Sims. We love J.K. We love J.K. J.K. Sims is very special to us. Every server I know watches you and is a fan. That's amazing. I'm still waiting for us to go to a restaurant and have somebody recognize him, but it's not happening. The only yet. thing that happened about recognizing was, um, would we? Oh, would we come to Australia? Says uh, yeah. as, our as, friends are oh, from Stella, Stella. Our friends are from Brisbane. I would love to go yeah. to Australia. Well, yeah. Can we tell them? Because they were in the wedding. Because sure. they probably know. So, Stella, uh, in our wedding, we're, have you heard of the Veronicas? The Veronicas were our, our close personal friends of Andrea, and they were in our wedding. So, um, we do have some Australian connection. So, maybe we could uh, maybe we could get there someday. That would be great. Uh, I forget what I was talking about before. Someone said you should start a Patreon. Well, that's a good point. Maybe a Patreon or something. I want to, uh, yeah, you know, I want to get the Twitch thing going to the point where um, I'm at a, a level where I could incorporate some some type of monetiz monetization on that too. Um, in the meantime, I do have my my Venmo and Cash App on TikTok, so people can uh, tip there if you want. It's at Drew Talbert. So. There's always that's, that option. That's our wig fund. Yeah, the wig fund. <laughs> we buy so At Drew Talbert, we accept donations there. Uh, this is from Nine Hazels. The world is so, I've said this before, the world is so complete. I just love it. Love the Huddy staff. Well done. Thank you very, very much. Family goals from Jammy oh. Jam. I love that. I think that it took a little while for us to get this Bistro Huddy crew if you've been watching this from the beginning, you've seen a couple. We've had other servers that aren't there anymore. Mm -hmm. um, or the Veronica's, they're the best. We've had other servers that have kind of disappeared just because we, we've sort of, even like Nicole has sort of had a little bit of a transformation from when she first Oh, yeah. Started. If you watch through the, all the videos, you can tell. Because we were making this up on the spot. It's like yeah. I would just, 
when it started happening, I was just, I just did a waiter video on TikTok and it blew up. So I was like, I'll do another one, another one. I wasn't planning to build a, a world. It's just certain characters would connect with you guys more than others. And so I would um, start making more videos with those people, you know? And, and then I was like, man, before I knew it, I was like, we have a restaurant here, like a <laughs> fake restaurant. So <laughs> fake, it's real. It is real. It feels real. real. It feels real. Um, All right, you want to do one more question? One more question, and then I have one more segment I want to guys, an improv. You guys are going to help me create a character on the spot. But one more question for Andrea. Someone's giving us some tax advice. I appreciate that. Uh, What's the best family meal at Bistro Huddy? Should that be it? Man. Can we Venmo you for the, to become a show? Sure. It's at Drew Talbert. Go for it. Um, You should, so... Let's see if there's another one. Did the servers who left leave their aprons at the back door and sneak out? <laughs> they just took them with them and kept going. They well, didn't look back. There were so many right. shifts I used to work when I had to move my car, mm-hmm. and I thought for a second I could just keep going. I could just drive home <laughs> and like not go back in, but then I did. Yeah. Okay. Well, you've you've now had a chance to meet her. We did ask this question on Instagram too. So we have a video I'm going to put together where she answers a lot more questions. So we'll get that out there too. But at least now you can picture her when you're watching. <laughs> so and we'll get her, at, get her in some sooner than later. So, all right, guys. Thank you. Yay, Andrea. Yeah. All right, let me move this out of the way with her. Thank you, Andrea. You're beautiful. She's going to stay sitting right here so I can kind of keep an eye on her. She can keep an eye on me more or less. Uh, So uh, this next little bit is uh, called. That's right. Create a character. Create a character. Did you want to see that again? I'm just so proud of that. So stupid. <laughs> All right. Uh, what was Terry doing there? <laughs> All right, guys. Let's create a character together. I need your help. Here's my idea. I'm an improviser. I, I am an improviser, and we do character style improvi- improv. Um, what I want you to do is I, I'm going to pick one of you one of you is going to tell me about your manager at your restaurant. And I am going to create a character based off of them. So I need in the chat, I need to pick one. So what I want you to do is tell me, um, I'm sorry, I'm distracted, but I'm making sure there's nothing. going. Okay. Uh, I want, one of you to tell me uh, that you have a really interesting boss. So Nicole has their hand up, but I need, I need a manager that's kind of memorable. Like, um, who do you think, Andrea? Are you seeing these? There's a Roy, like a, distinct, like a real, the manager has a, distinct, a real distinct person. Personality. Like they do certain things that are very specific. Yeah. Uh, I have a manager that barely speaks English. <laughs> no, no. All right. So should we go with Jammy Jam, Nickel, or um, uh, Jam- I said, Jammy Jam came in twice. Yeah, I'm gonna say Jammy Jam. All right, Jammy Jam. We're going with Jammy Jam. <clears throat> We're going with Jammy Jam. So Jammy Jam. Jammy Jam four three two. Here's what I need from you. All right, Jammy Jam. Listen. Jamie Jam, I need their name. All right. I need their name. And I need like two or three personality traits, like uh, really friendly or condescending or, you know, what I need personality traits. And if you know where they're from, so I can find the voice. So, name, personality traits where they're from, and then tell me what they look like with their hair so I can pick a wig. So I need to know what wig to use. So Jam, Jammy Jam, 
Hook us up, man. Hook us up. In the meantime, sorry, Courtney. Courtney will do you <laughs> next time. Courtney, Courtney could pick the situation of what's going on. Courtney, okay. Courtney will give us the situation. She's upset though because she has a great manager for this. But don't worry, Jamie Jams is great too. Um, Patriot Pizzas would have been great, I'm sure. Um, blocked. Thank you. My mods are working overtime here. Okay, Roy. He's passive aggressive. He likes to impart blame on others and seems to be nice <laughs> from Ohio. And he's bald. Oh, we have a bald guy somewhere. I don't have a bald one. Are you sure? Yeah. I don't have a bald. What do you think his hair was like before? <laughs> All right. Roy, he's passive aggressive. He likes to impart blame on others and seems to be nice <laughs> from Ohio. All right. We're going to go with gray hair. We're going to go with gray hair. All right. Maybe maybe we'll pull it back a little bit. So it's like balding. Mm -hmm. Like he's balding. Right? Um Ohio. Okay, the Midwest. Very, you know, they always, they all seem nice in the Midwest, right? So this will, what do we say? Could this be Roy? Could this be Roy? He seems by, but he's passive aggressive and he's always blamed. So it's like, hey guys, um, we're 86 on the mahi mahi. I, I, um, I guess maybe the chef kind of forgot to put the order in. So, you know, that kind of stuff happens. I mean, it's, it's, it's. Obviously, the kind of restaurant where we want to be on our toes, but occasionally, sometimes, uh, some of us uh, forget. You know, I, I, I wasn't obviously me, but I'm I'm not saying it wasn't. You know, I'm not trying to throw the the cook under the bus, but you know, the mai mai was not ordered, so that happened. Um, anyway, Jammy Jam. Um, I'm looking at you right now and I'm seeing like maybe we don't have the right amount of click pins. Yeah. Jammy jam. Maybe we don't have the uh, exact right amount of click pins. Is that right? So um, I, I'm just going to need you to maybe um, borrow some from the host stand or maybe you'll have to go home. So yeah, I don't want you to have to go home, but um, I can't, I can't read it. I'm sorry, love. Uh, Andrea. Well, hold on. Andrea wants to show me something. He tells stories about his old managing days 24-7. Oh, we have new information. Jamie Jam says he tells stories about his old managing days 24-7 and tells the same one five times a day. Jamie Jam, so it's like, you know, look, back when I was at Buca de Beppo, um, we had a thing, five click pins, you know, and it was amazing how all the servers uh, abide by that. You know, when you really hold your own cells accountable, right? And we hold our, we, we have our own like personal feeling of responsibility and we take ownership of the restaurant, right? So when we all do that, you know, all the ships rise together. Isn't that right? So let's just make sure, Jamie Jam, that we we get those click pins next time, right? I don't want to have to. I don't want to have to like come at you again, you know. So um, now, Courtney, let's go to Courtney. Courtney, where was she? Did Courtney go away? Courtney took us. You get to tell us the situation. So tell us what's going on in the restaurant today that Roy has to deal with. So what just happened? Like did the hot water run out or something happened in the restaurant and Roy's got to deal with it as the manager. So Courtney, come on. <laughs> While she's doing this, I'll just keep working on Roy, you know, back. Look, before Book of Beppo, obviously, I was working at uh, TGI Fridays. And, you know, that's where I learned a lot. I learned a lot about uh, corporate structure. I learned a lot about how to work as a team under a big tent, 
right? So sometimes it's just important that we keep that in perspective, right? That we don't just like think it's all about me, right, Jamie Jam? So we have a suggestion from Courtney. It's a staff Christmas party. So, okay, Roy's got to deal with the staff Christmas party. Now, is this, should we go, Andrea, with this is the planning of the party or is this at the party? We're at the party. Hey, guys. Great. Come on in. Now, of course, we did the white elephant this year. And um, looks like everybody brought something except Jamie Jam. So that's interesting. Um, if you did not bring a gift, and, you know, I do think I put it in the email that we were doing the $20 or less uh, gift exchange, the white elephant. So pretty sure I sent that. Not sure. Kind of wondering, did I get it to Jamie Jam? Did I include him? Pretty sure I did. But um, I'm seeing that you didn't bring one. So, Jamie Jam, you'll just have to kind of sit this one out, right? <laughs> so so we'll uh, we'll all do the gift exchange. But, um, yeah, and, uh, oh, uh, Courtney, I'm going to need you to slow down. on the, we, we got two drink tickets, right? Did we get the drink tickets out? We did. Andrea, did we get the drink tickets out? We did. We did not get them out. So we have not even passed out the drink tickets yet. And I'm seeing uh, Courtney's already got a cocktail. So <laughs> guys, I'm going to need you guys to rein it in. I'm going to need you guys to kind of like focus. You know, we want to have a good time. We want to have fun, but we also want to be safe, right? So this is not the Christmas party where we all just have a little too much to drink and make some mistakes, right? <laughs> so I'm going to need you guys to kind of, Tone it down. And Jamie Jam, again, uh, maybe while we're all doing the gift exchange, maybe you could just uh, pull the, the numbers out of the hat or something like you could kind of help moderate since you're not going to be actually getting a gift. Because, you know, it would it would be weird to get a gift if we didn't bring a gift, right? So, uh, and apparently Courtney, is uh, her gift is to herself, a second cocktail already. So, <laughs> wow. Um, yeah. Uh, Roy, are you kidding me with the drink? Tessa? Tessa, I look, Tessa, you've been with this company for three years. I think you understand how this works, right? We get drink tickets, you get two, and that's it, okay? And, I, and Tessa, I don't want another episode like last year when we brought our own drinks in, okay? We don't want to be bringing in our, our own drinks, do we? Okay, because that's when we get out of control, right? That's when we get out of control, and yeah. When I was, yes, this is from experience. When I was younger, I did have a few wild nights. Yes. <laughs> okay. And I think uh, I'd be, I'd be wrong to say otherwise. So don't, don't worry. Roy has, uh, Roy has had a few wild Christmas parties, I assure you. <laughs> but I have learned from those mistakes. So it's, it's good if we, we learn from our mistakes. And right now I choose to take those mistakes wrap them up into my own gift and give them to you as knowledge, right? Great. So take my mistakes and turn it into knowledge for yourself. And look, Jeffrey, Michael is a flask anyway. So I'll just get extra drunk. Keep your tickets. Jeffrey, Jeffrey, are you serious right now, buddy? <laughs> You're on thin ice, bucko. You're on thin ice, Jeffrey. Elizabeth, I, I'll trade my drink tickets for a hit off someone's pen. Guys, we are not going there, okay? And if you are going there, I don't want to hear about it, okay? That is not, I, you know, earmuffs, okay? <laughs> you just give them in the form of mistakes. Guys, let's get baked is your name. You're going to go through life. <sighs> guys, guys, if you want to work here, if you want to be a part of this team, I'm going to need you to abide by the rules. We get two drink tickets. We're not bringing in any other substances or things in flasks. And we're going to have a well-behaved, great time. I'm going to get out there and dance a little bit. We're going to exchange a gift or two. And we're going to ring in the holidays. That's what's going on. We're going to celebrate the spirit of giving, okay? I don't want to have to just keep being the dead the dead weight. I don't want to be the bad guy. I don't. Okay? Joke's on Roy. We all pre-drink. Guys! <sighs> Jamie Jam, I don't want to blame you. I don't. You know me. I like to take the blame myself. I do. 
I'm a guy who likes to take the blame myself, but I find myself feeling like this is a little bit of Jamie Jam's fault, right? Roy's the kind of guy that gets mad but never has the guts to actually fire people. Well, that's about to change right now. Jamie Jam? One more one more thing out of you and you're fired, right? Okay? That goes for everybody. One more misstep and and I'll I'll fire you. I will. I'm not scared to. I bet Roy had a favorite server he always uses as an example of a star server. Yeah, I do. It's Andrea. If everybody could be more like Andrea, this place would run like a top. Okay, this place would run like a frog with wings. But instead, I've got Jammy Jams, I've got Elizabeths, i got took, uh, Courtney Tuckus, i got Wake and Bake, Let's Get Baked, and what the hell is going on? Okay, I need a team, guys. Oh, you're brought into it, Andrea. Wow. Wow. This is just... you. I'm glad you guys are having fun. I'm glad you guys are having fun. All right. All right, I gotta go, okay? You guys have fun. You're on your own, okay? If the cops come, I was never here. <laughs> Woo! All right, Jammy Jam. That was Roy. I hope it lived up to your uh, your expectations. Roy loves Clint. People just love Clint. I wish I was as cool as Clint. Oh my God! I truly do. I truly do. You guys are great. Jammy Jam says we don't want to hear. Oh, he's talking to somebody. She made. It's customer service. <laughs> he should become a recurring GM character. Oh, man. Thanks, Tess. Do I call it Tess or Tessa? Thank you, Mr. Undrick or MR Undrick. Udnick. Udnick. M. Rudnick. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Lisa Marie, let's do Clint. Well, guys, the show is kind of coming to an end. So, um, but maybe Clint could make an appearance next week. I, I don't know. I don't know if this is going to always be Thursdays. I'm going to have to start teaching a class on Thursday soon. So this might move to Wednesdays, but I will keep you guys posted. Okay. So just be flexible with that. We're still figuring out time slots that work best for all involved. Um, um, this has been amazing. I've had so much fun. Andrea has had a ball. Nicole, I don't know. Um, and we're, we'll work out all the audio bugs and all that. We already are, looks like. So that's all getting better. Um, we'll keep creating some fun stuff in between, some more trivia and that kind of thing. Um, Lisa Marie can do Wednesdays, so that's good. Um, and... This will be available to watch on my Twitch channel for at least two weeks is how they do it. So it'll just stay there for a couple weeks. And I'm looking into uh, other ways to uh, replay this, some other platform. So we'll be looking into that as well. Uh, man, this is fun. You guys are awesome. Um, if you do want to uh, do gratuities and that kind of thing, uh, before we get all – because once I'm affiliate, I think you can do that in the app. Um, but we do have Venmo Cash App at Drew Talbert. You can do that if you want, but don't worry about it. Um, and yeah, a live stage show would be great. I have, and I have, I want to do more interviews like with Andrea, but but bring in some chefs and some uh, maybe some notable people that would be fun to to talk to. So I want to bring in, line up some of that. And then, um, Andrea is also going to become more of a fixture. I'm going to put her in a host stand and go to her. She'll be, so we'll get another webcam going and maybe, uh, get Andrea involved on a regular basis, which should be really fun too. So I think that little back and forth could, could be really fun. Anything else, Andrea? Let me ask Zach, Zach, anything else I need to say? Eli, 
Check out Streamlabs or something to get donations shown on screen. Super poppy. Okay. Andrea is beautiful, says Lisa Marie. Um, hopefully you're following us somewhere. If not, we have TikTok, Drew underscore Talbert. We have Instagram at Drew Talbert. We have Facebook slash Drew Talbert FB. And look us up on YouTube as well. So uh, that's it. They think I'm good. All right. Well, guys, thanks again to Zach, who helped moderate, and Eli, who helped moderate. Thanks again to Zach, who helped set this all up. Zach and Eli have been my Sherpas guiding me through this Twitch and Discord thing. So also come over to Discord, and like we'll get that going uh, soon. We can hang out there, chat. You can get into different levels and interact with me, and that'd be fun. But uh, thanks again to Zach and his company, After Hours. Uh, it's amazing. So exclamation point AH if you want to connect with Zach. All right. Look for fun videos to come, guys. Thank you so much. All right. Bye. I have one more little fun thing I made. Not really. It's super short. It's not even a thing. I shouldn't have said it. It's, it's <laughs> so lame. All right. Here we go. Bye.